I know I've said this time and time again, but this 79 series would have to be the biggest build to date. As far as 79s go, leaving Pro Touring Shed, we have literally thrown everything you possibly could at a 79 while still keeping it respectable, legal, compliant anywhere in Australia. The crux of it, it's a J-Max 4495 Super Chassis on a four inch lift, 35 inch tires. Uh, we've got Maxxis Razors, great tires for those guys ch trying to chase some new rubber, amazing road handlers and handling and really good off-road. Nice and quiet too. J-Max Alphas, these are the electric adjust ones. Again, we do have another video on the difference between manual and electric adjust. I'll, drop, I'll put a link in, in there for you. Um, automatic, wholesale auto kit, 4495. We've got a department roof console, department floor console that matches in with the wholesale stick. This is obviously custom to how we do things. It's nice and black um, and houses a few different things as well. Big Kenwood screen. We've also gone a full genuine 70th anniversary steering wheel uh, with the wood grain finish. We run the PVS wireless Kenwood um, control unit. It adapts perfect from this steering wheel to that head unit. Uh, scan gauge, scan gauge three, I'm pretty sure. We've got the uh, Clearview power boards down the below. Makes it so much easier to get in and out of this car. For those wondering, yeah, they, like, they definitely don't offer the same sort of protection as having some solid side steps on. As you can see there, we can get some extended flares or uh, mud flaps made up, but it is a hell of a lot easier getting in and out of this car. Electric Orthopad Recaros, genuine leather as well. These are electric adjusts, so they've got heat and cooling um, and lumbar and the side bolsters come in and out and car the seat tilts forward and backwards as well. Uh, we had to obviously put it integrate another switch panel up there. We've got a bucket load of stuff that we're switching, so we uh, had some available real estate up there. Safety Dave quad channel screen. Uh, that's a standard in all of our dual cabs, whether it's 300 or 79. We have a camera up the back, and on all of our removable systems, we've got one under there too, shining straight at the tow hitch. Premium door cards with door pods, running our Focal Flax Evos, the component kit. The tweeters up there, crossovers in behind where the factory four inch speaker goes. Uh, replacement cards here as well. These are a six inch coax focal. Um, we've got the premium rear wall panel with 10 inch focal sub. We've got a 125 amp slimline lithium in there and a BCDC 1225 on the other side. I'll show you that, multi-drive charge restraint. Remember as well, charge restraints and aftermarket seating needs to be engineered post registration. We can orga organize that for you guys if the car is being registered in Queensland. Up the front while I'm walking around the other side, I might as well show you it's an ARB Summit Deluxe Bar. This one also has the new radar relocation kit down there. Uh, we've also put a, an additional Kenwood camera too, so that goes through to the head unit inside. Uh, when you put it, take it out of reverse and back into drive, it shows you what's in front of you in case you don't run over your child coming off the dr driveway or whatever. Um, electric adjust screen there, that's for the alphas. I've run through that before. Um, dab, uh, we've got a uh, dash cam up there. New ARB floor mats, love those. The other side in the back. What do we got? BCDC there, big lithium. The roof rack is an absolute haven for wiring and uh, we've got a lot going on up there. We've got a big, um, both on swivel bases, we've got two 100 watt solar panels, big 50 inch steady light bar, a cell fire and the UHF antenna on the other side. And up the back here, we try and make it so that when the canopy comes off, we can utilize the solar and the roof lights to be powered off the lithium in the back. So everything is on plugs and you can change it over when you take the canopy off. So everything, you still retain the full function of your roof rack, which is pretty cool. It does mean though that when your canopy's on, you're gonna have a couple of excess plugs up top um, while it's being redundant, like while your lithium inside the cab is now effectively not charged, not powering them. It still will charge obviously off your alternator through the BCDC. Pro Touring Canopy by uh, Norworld Australia manufactured up in Cairns. As usual, this has got our full trimming kit. 
um, roof insulation panels, carpet, deluxe, so nice. Our trimmer does an amazing job. We've got a Red Arc Red Vision system here with a 300 amp and a drive lithium behind this upright fridge. It's a 130 litre Bushman. And a Travel Buddy oven in there. Stacks of room in this canopy. 235 inch spare tires on the Maxxis. Some little LEDs as well. Oh, while I was over this side, I can show you the Boss awning in its new bag. Love the new bags that Boss have come out with. Uh, we've got some Max Tracks up there. We've also got our Pro Touring Ensuite as well. The quick pitch um, soft bag Ensuite. So that arm comes out and, um, and drops your Ensuite to the back here so that you can uh, shower, privacy tent, whatever, however you want to do it. Brown Davis front and rear tank. So we've got 115 litres under there and we've got 180 litres at the back under there. So it's almost like 300 litres of usable fuel. What other car can you do that with in Australia? So, so good. Oh, actually, no, the 300 series. The 300 series chop, we can, um, we have about 360 litres of diesel in ours. All Brown Davis tanks. We've got the DPU high flow cooler. We've got the pre-filter kit, fuel manager pre-filter kit on DPU bracket. Um, crank battery changeover. We've got a ProVent catch can down there too. All of our fuses labeled. You can see what's going on, where it's heading. If you ever need to chase down a fuse, that's where we mount all of our stuff right there. Works perfectly with the wholesale auto kit. Um, remember guys, going to an automatic does mean that you will uh, bump your towing capacity up to 4.5 ton. So this is a, what is it on total combined? I think it's eight. 8995, 8,995 kilo combined package on the road. Obviously you need a little bit of a power upgrade to be able to achieve that on the highway. So that's why um, Diesel Power Unlimited do our, do our safe tow tunes. That's pretty much it. This one has been an absolute hive for man hours. <laughs> throwing everything you possibly can at it. You want it to be done and done right and perfect from the beginning. So having cables galore. Uh, and, and you don't want anything, you know, failing on you when you're out, out doing your travels. So these sorts of builds take us a long time to complete. Um, Richard, you're an absolute legend. Uh, you basically, what you signed it up with us. I think it was the end of 21, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this has been a, about an 18 month build process. Uh, we've got a big 3000 watt inverter in the back here. RCD combo, your BMS units up there. Double pole outlet there. <laughs> it's gonna walk around, you can actually see how cool this is. Mental. Do like the graphite. Always looks good when it's brand new too. Cheers guys, let us know what you think. If you've got any questions on this particular setup or if you've got a 79 series still coming into the country soon, hit us up. Cheers guys.